Coach Lilly and uh, the other tight ends have been amazing. Um, Jay Rams, he's still teaching me. We're still helping each other. Um, you know, Jackson, um, Jared Chapel, Jordan, everybody. Um, it, it's really just a culture of learning, a culture of getting better, and I'm, I'm thankful for that. And like you said, it, it pays off. It makes it a little bit easier. The longer you're in the system and this culture, the easier it is to learn and progress. Talk a little more about that relationship uh, with Jay. I know you spoke with him obviously a whole lot. You know, last year he kind of took you under his wing, but even now, so what, what, the way you describe it, he's still doing that. It's how special is the thing you guys you know, have going for them. Oh, he, he's the ultimate teammate. I mean, everybody in that room is. Everybody wants the tight ends to do um, great. I mean, we, we try to say we're tight end you, so it doesn't matter who needs to be out there, you know, who's doing the best. Because um, each and every day we're all pushing each other to get better. And that's why, especially Jay and uh, everybody else, like I said, Jordan, Jerry, Jackson, we just have that culture. At the same time, he's a guy who's had so many injury issues. I think you said back in spring, he's healthy. He's been maybe in three, three years. I mean, as a teammate, how much are you rooting for a guy like that? Maybe go out on, you know, go out on, on top of him. Oh, of course. I mean, we're all each other's biggest fan. Um, we, when somebody else makes a play, we celebrate. Because once again, it's the Titans making the play. Not to say that it's anything different with the offense, but that's who we're around the most. And so, no matter who it is, anybody makes a play, we're going to be happy. Especially for a guy, you know, that's got a little banged up. Now he's back. Hundred and fifty percent better. He, he's looking great. I work with Coach Shaw. He's back in spring camp now. I mean, he talked last time we spoke about implementing the tight ends more as far as the you know, coming forward with the pass catching option. Just how excited is that for us? What, what are you really expecting this fall? Yeah, we need to we need to figure out who we are still. Man, that's what the camp is for. We're trying to figure out who are we at our core. Um, I, I think we know that, but then again, spread it out. And who can we be? And so we're all just trying to work hard so we can put ourselves in the best spots to win. How much more confident are you this time than you were this time last year? You know, going in as a true freshman, now you got a little bit of time under your belt. How, how much difference is that for you? Well, thankfully, the NCAA put in the new rule, um, I believe it's the two-hour rule, um, where we can go in and the coaches can have film with us and apart on or uh, add on to that what we can go in and you know ask them to help with, uh, help us with. So that helped a lot because last year it was kind of flying blind, um, for lack of a better term. But this year we're all learning this new system, so we're all at that base level helping each other up. And once again, it's just a culture of learning. It's helped a lot. What do you make so far of the quarterback race? I'm sure a million people have asked you that already. Yeah, um, there's one front runner. I'm going to say uh, Jay Rome. He's, he's looking really good. <laughs> I think the biggest shock will have to be the jersey change, but um, yeah. that's, that's who we all think is going to get the job. Does he – What he does, has a little trouble throwing it into the flat, Jay? Well, that's what he's working on, getting his hips open and really ripping it out there. But, I mean, he has a wonderful deep ball accuracy, and he, he's a running quarterback too. Throws left-hander, right? Oh, he, he's a uh, <laughs> – oh, <laughs> He's amphibious. <laughs> there you go. He's amphibious. That's so and ambidextrous. He's great. He can do it all. <laughs> hey, what do you make of y'all's um, – beginning of the season there's going to be four games of course right off the bat you play a, a directional school and then you go into Vanderbilt is it different than playing Clemson last year we have a nameless faces opponent I mean, it doesn't matter who it is when you're playing football the way I see it is 50-50 they can win we can win um, so really just a, a chance to go down there and play you know, in front of in front of our great fan base it doesn't matter who's over there we're, we're amped up we're excited we know we're going to get a good game right. thanks Joe thank how you much, how much weight excuse me go ahead Go ahead. <laughs> you mentioned uh, you know getting out there catching some passes, but I mean you know blocking for guys like uh, you know, Nick, Sony, uh, Keith. I mean, how important is that aspect for you and Jay and the tight ends? For like our our just, just in the role or uh, in the role of uh, blocking for those guys. I mean, yeah. At the end of the day, we're still tight ends, so we need to perform in both those aspects of the receiving and the blocking. But it helps a lot when you have talented backfield. All those guys back there are talented and. I feel like our offensive line, our receivers, everybody's starting to mesh together so we can put out solid blocks for uh, all over the field. I don't know if 